Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon. I am the Learning Engineer. And today what I wanted to do is kind of show you a program called Flash Develop that I've come to really like. I've decided to start using Flash Develop because I started actually using Flex and Flex Builder, but they're not free. They're actually quite expensive if you have to pay for them. And um, even though as an educator I do get this stuff for free, I don't always like to dump that cost onto students. And since I do have an older brother who works for a major corporation, and he tells me that they use all free stuff. So free is good. <clears throat> that being said, uh, today what I wanted to do is to show you how to use Flash Develop to develop Flex programs. Now, normally they would have you do Flash programs, but I find Flex to be quite a bit easier to learn and to use. Um, the problem with lots of formally trained programmers is that they get stuck in a tradition and it's very difficult for them to see their way out of that tradition to a product that would be better. Some of the stuff that we're going to do, if you were to code it in ActionScript, would take actually quite a bit more code than it would in Flex. So, today we're just going to do a simple Hello World video for using Flex. And it's quite simple, so what we would do is we would start with um, a new project. So I'm just going to click New Project here. And you can see that we have a couple of things, and I would generally go with a Flex 4 project. Um, you, there are Flex 3 and you can do, and of course you can do AS3, I like Flex 4, I think it's it's simple and easy to use. Um, and then we would name this Hello World Project. And this is where it's going to be the location is, so if you want to change that you can. Um, I And then you would click OK. Okay. I'm just going to click Cancel now because I already have an Hello World project started that we can look at. But then, like I said, all you would click is OK and it would set it up. So I'm going to click Cancel. And I'm going to close this Start page because that's going to actually bring me to my main XML Hello World. Here's your project. Okay, This is your source and this is the main XML. When you compile this, it creates it into the bin and then these are your bin files. Okay. Now, uh, flex programs are fairly easy to use and to understand. So here I have one, and if we just run it, you'll see what happens. So here we have our Adobe Flash Player comes up, and here we have a little world down there. So there's, there's our XML encoding. Okay. So this is the first line. This is always going to be here. This is always going to be here except for this part. I actually put that in. And you can code this uh, any way you want. So you can say background color red, background color white, background color black. Uh, we can set the height and width. If you don't want to set the height and width, you don't really have to. Okay, so th those are there. So then, if, but if we wanted to change this to, let's say, green, Let me just click that run it. Let's bring this over here. And there it is. It's green. So you can also do, you know, all of your hexadecimal numbers and colors. So you can use those as well. Um, this is, would be where your declarations are. So if you had any, for example, if you had any variables that you wanted to declare that were global, uh, you do this here. Um, but this is basically our label here. So it's just S less than sign s colon label and then here's the ID uh, then text so hello world is our text the font family is Verdana the font size is 36 now this is what makes flex so interesting and useful are these right here right now what I'm telling it to do is I'm telling it to place a 10 from the bottom and 10 from the right okay we can also change these to top and left, and you can do these in any, of course, any combination that you want. And if I simply test this quickly, you'll see that we get hello world on the top 
right or top left, 10 from the left and 10 from the top. We can also do what's called horizontal and vertical center. So here we have horizontal center and vertical center. Now I'm just going to make these zero. And what this will do is place it in the exact center of the application. So if I just click that and debug, as you can see now, Hello World is in the center of our application. Okay, so this is just a simple uh, program to get you started with uh, Flash, build, Flash Develop. The one thing you do have to remember, though, is that you also need an SDK. And if we right-click on our project here and go to Properties, this is where we set all of our properties. So you can see I have my target of 10 player, player, flash player 10, sorry. And we can change it to 10.1. We can set all of our dimensions and stuff here. Obviously, I'm setting them in the movie, so it's not going to work that way. Uh, but you also have your compiler options. And if you need a custom, you have to have the Flex SDK to do Flash Develop. So wherever you unpack that, this has to tell it where it is. Okay. Now, if you need help installing Flash Develop, there are quite a few excellent videos on YouTube. I believe one is by Opcell. Um, that does an excellent job of it. It's very easy to install. Uh, <clears throat> you need .NET, Flash Develop, and the SDK, which you can get at Adobe, opensource.adobe.com. So uh, this is just a simple hello world. If you want to give this a try, you can. Uh, like I said, it's fairly easy. I will be posting the um, files for this at my website at Learning Engineer Downloads, learningengineer.com downloads. Um, it, the link is on the left side of the web page. So uh, this is Hello World and Flash Develop. My next video will be doing a simple slideshow in Flash Develop. Have a good day. Bye.